Hey guys, welcome and welcome back, my bumble, beautiful bumblebees. Today we are going to be doing um, this wax candle, like how to steal cards. Like, um, let me get an option to show you. Like this. This sort of stamp. So today we are going to be doing and making one of those. Uh, I'm going to be, like, showing you, I guess, not, like, a tutorial of how to make it. But, so, first, we're going to turn on my diffuser. And then the light. We're going to do, like, uh, my LED lights are at, like, a purpley color, so that's um, what I'm going to change it to. So, um, if you can't see, but on that little crystal, I have, um, these little frog rings. So, that's what the next video we're gonna, is going to be. I'm gonna post so just stay tuned to that um this is not an ASMR and the next one isn't an ASMR isn't an ASMR either so yeah um so first what you're gonna need to do this is you're gonna need your lighter I like these lighters best because instead of having the small ones you can easily do it not promoted promoted um but basically I'm gonna get the wax stuff because I have this like box I got for Christmas and um it's really easy to do it and it's really fun so i love sending letters now this is just going to be a prop one because i'm going to try to do like a harry potter cool stamp one so i have this box which has all of the supplies in it like the wax melting stuff and all that stuff so we're gonna get to that um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take i'm gonna tape a piece of parchment paper so I have this piece of parchment paper right over here. I'm gonna take that, this piece. I'm gonna take that and um, tape it to my desk because instead of having to do it to a card because I don't have any card that I have right now. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna tape it to my desk. So um, I'm gonna get a better angle on my desk so you can kind of see it. We're gonna do it right here. So you can see it better. Um, so I'm going to tape it down. Okay, good. You can see that fully. Because um, the parchment paper, you can stick it and then you can stick the stamp off of it. So like I like to glue it to other cards instead of having to make a whole new one. Even though they're really fun to make, I also like sticking them to my walls because I have a few that I made before. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do these three colors. Well, I think I'm going to do these three colors because I've done this two times already. And I know I want to try different colors, but this is super pretty color to do. I just think it's like a super pretty blue. It's um, a blue, a pink, and a purple. So those are this, this pink, which is like a very swirly color pink this purple and then this blue so I have all the colors that I can choose from but I'm just gonna do those sorry the lights glistening on it so I have like this um thing and basically you put it down um so you put it down and then um you put the candle under it so basically you put the candle under this and then that's how you melt the wax so you put the wax in this thing and then you pour it and you make your stamp um so i have different stamp tips basically to put to stamp it um but the stamp that i'm gonna use i think is this tree because i think it's, that's a really cool one but like i said in the beginning i want to do a Harry Potter thing a Harry Potter theme stamp because I have I've wanted to do that for a while now so the Harry Potter stamp is red and so um instead of just doing three reds I think I'm gonna do ooh okay there's so many colors to choose from because they're so pretty so I think I'm gonna choose these red because it's like a very nice swirly red color so I think I'm gonna do that red um I'm gonna do two reds and one shimmery gold because you want three colors i because if you don't do enough it will just not look like a cool stamp so i'm gonna do those three so um then what you do is you'll light your candle don't do this at home if unless 
you have parent supervision because this can be really dangerous. Um, and what I like about doing it on parchment paper is so like sometimes you have to try to make sure you get it perfectly straight. This one I didn't do too straight. Um, because if you do, don't do it perfectly straight, it won't look super wet nice. This one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to melt it. It's melting. It's getting there. But it takes a little bit of time to melt. But basically, I guess I can tell you about my next video um, right now. So my next video will be how to make these polymer clay frog wing rings. I'm going to maybe post that today or tomorrow. I don't really know. This video is getting uploaded today um, because, yeah. But this is what it looks like on. It's really cute, and I think it's very nice. I love both of them, too, so either one is really cute. Um, so the colors are melting. I always like to wipe it out, too, because if you don't wipe it out, then the other colors will be staying there from the last wax. Oopsies. Oopsies. <laughs> the wax other thing that you did, the wax are still in there, so they didn't even, they haven't even started melting yet, so that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to wait for them to melt. So, yeah. How have you guys been? How's your day been going? Um, hopefully it's going great. Um, so today, I'm just kind of chilling and I'm just waiting for this. So I'm really excited to do this frog video because I'm also I also made some shrinky dinks. So yeah. Um, so maybe I'll show you guys some shrinky dinks um, in the frog video too because I made some cute shrinky dinks with my family last night. So that was really cute. It takes a little bit long for it to melt, and so, one second. And sometimes I like to like swirl it around, because if it isn't swirled around, then the colors, because then it just looks like, so like this one, it looks nice because of all the colors and the lines. So I'm going to try to swirl it around with... what it looks like right now it's, it doesn't even look that cool but it, i think it'll look a lot cooler in a minute so i'm gonna do that now blow it out and then i'm gonna go and you want to kind of wrap it this does not look like a harry potter stamp it looks it has like blues and stuff in my last one and then you want to try to get the stamp on as quick as possible after you get all the wax out of course but when it gets stringy that's not good so you go boom and then you let it sit for just a minute, and this would be a good time to go wipe it out. So I'm just going to wipe mine out. Okay, wipe. I'm just getting that all clean, because if you don't, it doesn't look too well for the next one. I forgot to wipe it out last time. Or you could also just heat it up and just wipe it out for separate cleaning. If you want to clean it like once every time you use it so then it looks nice and clean it doesn't look that clean but it looks pretty good so i'm just gonna move this um and now you can take the stamp off and see it actually sticks that's why see that's what the bottom looks like it's actually really pretty it's really pretty i there's nothing wrong with this stamp but um i wanted to go through a for a harry potter one so that's I think that looks actually super pretty. Um, yeah. So, I I think I'm going to do another one. I think, um, um, so, uh, I'm going to do one more real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. It's already getting pretty long. But, um, I think I'm just going to do one with three of those same colored reds because, those ones are actually like really pretty, and if I want to get the Harry Potter stamp down, I think I have to do just those colors. So, um, I'm gonna just speed this up real quick so I can easily do it because it's gonna take forever if I don't speed it up. So, we're just gonna speed it up. 
I'm gonna buy more stamps, like, um, different ones, because this one, like, I have a deer with, like, snowflakes, but that, I, that's not all seasonal, and I want, like, a whole bunch of different cool ones, so I have this one, which is a cool tree, I'm gonna move this over to the side real quick. So this is just gonna take a minute. Sorry guys if this video is a longer video than my usual ones. I'm just trying to, um, I don't know why this is so long, but some of my videos might be longer than shorter. I don't know. Sometimes it just happens and sometimes videos have to be longer. And wax stamps aren't the easiest thing to do. Um, so those frog stamps are polymer clay. So if you don't have polymer clay, that's okay. You can easily buy that polymer clay. Um, I think it's a really good thing to buy because you can make little animal creatures and it's super nice and cute. Okay, it's all melted, so I'm going to open it out now. And I'm going to pour it. And that's a nice red color. Yay, I'm happy about that. I know it doesn't look like enough, but three is actually a good amount. And then just go, ooh, pow. So you can see, like, around it, um, the other edge didn't get as much wax, which is okay. Sometimes that happens, um, even though I added three, that's kind of crazy, and it still doesn't look the best. But it's fine. Um, it's, it doesn't have to look the best. It's just, it's not like it's something important, that important. It just is a very cute stamp, and I think it actually still looks pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm going to take it off. So that's my Harry Potter stamp. I want to get a better stamp to do it with, but yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, um, see you when I do my frog videos. So, yeah. Bye, guys.